everyone. Today's unboxing is for a monthly book subscription to Prairie Fox Books. Prairie Fox Books is a independent bookstore in Ottawa, Illinois, and they have regular book boxes that they have that you can get on subscription, or you can buy them just monthly if you want to. Okay, so let me talk first about what kind of boxes they've got, and then I'll talk about this one specifically. Um, they do have four different kids' boxes, and they're, um, they're done by age. So if you want preschool, if you want toddler, first grade, um, you can choose from different boxes they've got for that. And then they have a, the original one, which is um, two new release books. They have a cozy mystery with tea selection, which is two cozy mysteries and you get some tea with it. And then the one I picked, which was the cozy mysteries, which is just the two cozy mysteries. Um, in the boxes, you do get uh, things that they will throw in there. Sometimes they're curated to the theme of the month or the books. Um, sometimes they're not, but it's just fun to have the added things in them. Um, the box is 12, the box that I'm getting with the two cozy mystery books is $12.99 plus shipping and handling. For me, that amounts to just under $20. All right. So, um, like I said, this is a subscription service in that you can purchase several months at once. So if I want to basically prepay for three months and then have it sent to me for three months or six months, I can do that. Um, if you're buying just the monthly, you're basically just buying for the month when you buy it. Uh, when you do that, you do not, you're not subscribing in that um, they'll automatically send you a box the next month. It's not a subscription in that manner. And if you want a box the next month, well, you got to order one the next month. Um, I kind of like that because if I, for some reason, can't get that month, I can just choose not to purchase it. I do have a reminder set up on my calendar to let me know when I've rolled over for the month so that I can determine at that point if I want to go ahead and purchase it. So I've been like um, periodically purchasing it. Some months I do, some months I don't. All right, so this is the May 2023 box. Let's dive in and see what came in it. Tell you the tape is nice and thick. All right. All right, here we go. All right, there on the top. Now, I will say that the box does come with a little bit of padding, but as you can see, the, um, it doesn't, it's not heavily padded, so sometimes the books move around. Um, I think I might have got one with a cover bent, but uh, usually it's not an issue. Usually I have no problems with it, so. All right, so let's just dive in. As you can see, the first book on the top here. This book is Pause for Alarm by Marion Babson, and, oh, this is a reprint because this is previously published as Death Swap. Okay, and this is a dead letter mystery, a whisker away from death. So here's what this one is about. A summer in England sounds like a great idea for the Harper family, and the house exchange makes it so affordable. Now they've swapped their New England home for a lovely cottage in a village near London. Why, the house even comes with a cat, a shy marmalade named Esmond. Everything seems perfect until someone tries to kill Mr. Harper. Now the genteel village feels sinister. The snooty next-door neighbor is acting suspicious, and the house is filled with its real owner's secrets. Numerous attempts on Mr. Harper's life convince his wife Nancy they can't pussyfoot around. They need to investigate, starting with the mousy, what the mousy orange cat knows. Okay, so like I said, this one's a, re a reprint, and it looks like an older 
since it is a reprint, it would have been an older one. Uh, let's see. I can't tell for sure what. This is a 1984 print. Um, so let me just say right away that this is my freebie because when you go, get from the subscription, you get two new cozy mysteries. They're new ones. This one's not new. This is gently used. I mean, it's in great shape, of course. Um, but it is uh, an older used cozy mystery. So um, I find that at least in my box, I am I typically get a freebie, which I really like. So this is cool. I love the cover. Um, I the synopsis sounds really interesting, so I can't wait to dive into that one. Okay, then I have um, Absence of Mallets by Kate Carlisle. It is a Fixer Upper mystery, which I have watched the Fixer Upper mysteries that are like in movie form on the Hallmark Channel. So I like them. I've not actually read the books. What is this one about? It says contractor Shannon Hammer steals her nerve to pin down a killer in the latest fixer, fixer upper mystery. Okay, Shannon could not be happier that her hunky thriller writer boyfriend, Mac, has moved in. And it's a good thing they're living together because they are both busier than ever. Mac is hosting writer retreats at his now vacant lighthouse mansion. While Shannon and her crew build Homefront, a quaint Victorian village of tiny homes for veterans in need. Mac's latest guests are proving to be a handful, though, and Shannon has heard some grumbling from the luminaries on Lighthouse Cove about her latest passion project. But nothing can throw a wrench in their plans except a malicious murder. When one of Shannon's new friends is found brutally bludgeoned with a mallet near the lighthouse on Mac's property, the couple hammers out a suspect list and searches for motives. As they drill deeper for clues, more violent strikes, and a new victim winds up in a coma. The pressure is on. And Shannon and Mac will have to move fast to find an unhinged killer dead set on demolishing anyone who gets in their way. All right. So this one is a part of the Fixer Upper Mystery Series. And you see we've got a whole list of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would be number nine if they're in order. And this is a 2021 copyright. And it does look like it's new condition. Okay, and then the third one is Death by Bubble Tea um, by Jennifer J. Chow. Um, what's this one about? It says, when Yale Yi discovers her cousin Celine is visiting from Hong Kong, she is obliged to play tour guide to a relative she hasn't seen in 20 years. Not only that, but her father thinks it's a wonderful idea for them to bond by running a food stall together at the Eastwood Village Night Market. Yale hasn't cooked in years, and she hardly considers Celine's career as a social media influencer as adequate experience. But because she's just lost her job at the local bookstore, she feels she has no choice. Yale and Celine serve small dishes and refreshing drinks, and while business is slow at first, it eventually picks up thanks to Celine's surprisingly useful marketing ideas. They're quite shocked that their bubble tea in particular is a hit, literally, when one of their customers turns up dead. Yale and Celine are prime suspects due to the gold flakes that Celine added to the sweet drinks as a garnish. Though the two cousins are polar opposites in every way, they must work together to find out what really happened to the victim, or this only thing they'll be serving is time. All right, this one um, is the first one in the LA Night Market Mysteries, and it is a copyright of 2022, so it is a new a newer release it's last year because this is 2023 now i'm just going to double check but i think that's it yep that's everything that i got in the box okay so i got three books for 20 bucks that's not bad it did include shipping um like i said sometimes you get extra stuff in it sometimes you don't i'm just double checking nope nothing extra in that one So if you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post my unboxings. And as always, I love your comments. What'd you think of the selections in this box? Have you read anything by these authors or anything in these series? Or if you just want to say hi, that's okay too. I love your comments. I read and respond to them all. So what did I think of this box? Well, I will preface this by saying that first of all, I typically like this box. 
it's just a fun box. Um, the price is good for new releases and for like if you get two new releases. If I go to the store and buy a new release, let's say like this one, um, this one's an $8.99 price. So, you know, $9. If I buy two for $9 at the store plus tax, I've paid the 20 bucks and they got it shipped to me. So I, I do like that. And they also, um, they also include the extras. Like in this case, they included the extra book, which I just love getting extra books. Um, I will say that this book, this box, unfortunately, is a little bit of a downer for me because um, I have... I have gotten Death by Bubble Tea in not just one, but two previous boxes, not from Prairie Fox, but from other, other places. This was a release last year in 2022. And so as a new release, I actually got it in two boxes. <laughs> so, so this is now the third time I've received this particular one. And so that's a little disappointing to me. And I like that Kate Carlisle's was a, is like new, new from the standpoint of their new condition. Um, but it's a 2021 and it just so happens I don't have that particular one, but I really would have liked to stick with getting, this is 2023. I would have liked to gotten two 2023 releases um, rather than getting the, the, you know, last year's and the year before's being the new releases. So for me, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but that's the chance you take in getting some of these boxes. Uh, I do like the selection they gave me for the, um, the used one. So there is that. Um, but I can say that, this one is not on my top of boxes, but I do like the service overall. I do recommend them. And um, yeah, so that is going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.